Send is this new, uh, I think it, it would be called like a cinematic piano, right? That's what they're going for. So this has no effects, no nothing. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on it. So let's just play. Oh, it sustains really nice. I think it's stuck. Yeah, it was. So we have this puck thing in the middle. So if I move more over here, we're just hearing that Ebo. If I go all the way to the corner, can we only hear that? Yeah, my OBS takes up 10% of my CPU is, CPU is standard, and then obviously DAW takes some. So yeah, whenever I stream, you get more clicks and pops and shit than you would normally. Man, I like it. It's 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 kind of it's weird. It's sort of like uh, a hollow-ish sound, but I feel like I'm gonna have lots of control over this. Uh, was I just playing whatever comes to mind? Yeah, that's just what I do. I compose, so I I can't play other people's music. I spend too much time going.
Like, and then I'm like, oh no, it's wrong. So let's try and play with this. So first off, let's try and find like a really plain set. Is there like an init? Is there an init? I need a basic core D, basic concert D. Oh God, that load time. God, okay, okay, here we go. So that's kind of like very tinny sounding. So I'm just going to go through the basic pianos first, the core concert D ones, and then we'll uh, we'll start building our own. Okay. So turn it up because it's quite quiet. Okay, so that's like a basic PPP mix, although that's still quite loud for PPP. Compressed, dark. Okay, let's try these out. Oh, by the way, my, my wife's away today, so the dog may bark and I may have to go pull her away. But Man, this is like... That's really compressed. This is like what um, pianos back in uh, the early 2000s sounded like. Do you guys remember having those when you first started out? Like this was the softest note. Compressed mix. What does dark sound like? Sounds dark.
There's like a weird... Is that like foot pedal or something? You hear all that... If you started recently, obviously, I mean, like when you, for anybody who started around my kind of time. Ah. Sorry, I was having fun with that one. So now I'm going to try loading in another sound. So if we click that, uh, the puck thing, top right triangle here, the off. Now we've got, I click full mix, <clears throat> brings up this window here. So I can have piano, I can have some PPP, I can have some struck sounds, or I can have some sustain. So what's a sustain with a brush sound like? That's not really sustained, is it? Am I doing it wrong? Okay, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Do I need to turn it on? What do I need to do? Switch it on? There it is. Got it. And this, I'm going to make the PPPPP room. And this bottom one, I'm going to make PPP close so that I can blend it. Right, what's the convolution? Where's that? Convolve. Interesting. Caverns, drenched landscape, plucked. For oh, we got reversed ones. Let's have a look at mirrors. What does that sound like? So 
So for the brush, we're going to want... Has this got any convolution? No. This does, though, so let's turn that down. I don't like the brush. There's a bit too much texture. Can I add effects per section? That would be cool. Modulate echoes. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this like fuck it, uh, like the Noir's uh, sequencer? Oh, I like that. Right, let's just turn the Ebo off. Interesting. Okay, so it just does that. So what does Cascade do? Just goes up. Okay, so I want four echoes, but I want you to do more than just one note. Oh, generate. Complexity to length. Infinite, okay. Rate. Why is it like duh, duh, duh. that is weird? It's like, it's just playing random. So I think replicates probably. got a creepy vibe i'm gonna wait till we find a, a preset that's got that's using that properly i like the sound of it though so let's turn this back on my ebo Okay, let's move away from the dark one. Hard rock. <laughs> Man. Progression is every other rock song in the world. Here we go. <laughs> Just everything ever. Oh, 
or whatever. Hard rock sounding good. Lush ambience. So what does this automate button do? Oh, okay. Let's move on from that. Blum, 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 old timer. Rear hall. <laughs> Gotta wait for it to load in. So we're at the minute, we're still just kind of in the... Where are we, actually? So let's actually go up to the Ascend. Let's listen to some of the sound designing ones.
is the stream doing pitch mod? Uh, sometimes when it does the weird pitchy thing, you can uh, refresh the stream and it'll work. Also, I hear that there's a uh, an option where I think you can either make the stream immediate or you can uh, cause a delay in your own stream so that you'll see me a little bit later than everyone else, but it will buffer the stream better or something like that. I heard that was an option. I think it's B minor we're in currently. I can make it C minor. There we go. I play everything in D. That was the ascendant wings. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got a pad. Man, that's really cool, actually. That was really cool. <laughs> well, I could like do something like this and then. Right, and then if I put black hole on my other piano, which is the, uh, the gentleman. So like if I layer it over, so I use this as a pad. So I have piano on piano action. Sorry, I just love that pad sound. It works really well with other things. So we're going to be using that shit ton in the future. Brushed ocean, cosmic. Is that tempo sync? It's not tempo synced. You can't be doing that. You can't be giving me a rhythmic convolution. That is not temple sanct. That is a problem that we are going to have to deal with. The leads thrums. bit messy this one moving on a bit messy delicate soft sustains okay
That's like the uh, that's like the romance chord, right? This is gentleman playing, but like the. I mean, that could be cool. But you can only really play one note at a time. <laughs> it sets it all off. Fifth fading in C minor. A lot of these like extra echo things makes it a little difficult to play. You know what I mean? Like it generates really bizarre rhythms. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it's not as bizarre if you're playing it at the time. No, it's still ran. It's like a random timing, so I need to get that better. Fragile states. What's this going to be?
I like the Fragile States one. It's got a nice vibe. That'd be a cool kind of theme. By the fucking way, I forgot to mention this. Someone, <laughs> right, we're going to watch this as well. Uh, somebody, sorry, I, I, we're just taking a little break from the piano so that I can recharge my piano. Uh, some Somebody did an arrangement of like my Assassin's Creed Valhalla thing and a few of my other tracks, and they played it as like a big live marching band. How cool is that? Let me see if I can find that shit. Um, if I can, that'd be so cool. No, it's been blocked on copyright grounds. <laughs> well, it was nice while it lasted. But anyway, that was, that was really cool. All right. So moving back on. Sorry, I, I wanted to show you the thing, but then it's, it doesn't exist. So nothing for me. Did you play one of my songs? <laughs> then you can link to it, because it's all about me. Hyper compressed. That's really compressed. Okay, and again, another thing I need to say is that like when I stream, there's a delay on the keyboard and it's it's subtle, but it's like it's like a few milliseconds off. So if I try and play something that rhythmic, I fuck up. It's like a, a voice, it's like a voice jammer. I don't know if you guys have ever used it. Uh, you put an app on your phone, which records your voice. You put headphones in and what it does is it plays back what you're saying, but like a few milliseconds later, which ends up making you extend your voice because you're trying to compensate for your own voice like an echo and you end up talking like this. That's what it's like when you try and play with a stream on if you play fast. I like this pad. metal inside.
Uh, it's a bit too much, a bit too much ever go on that one. I'm gonna turn the echoes off on this one. Do some things with that. Yeah, <laughs> boom, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> trying to hit the delay, but it's awkwardly timed. Oh, ominous bell tolls. Cool thing with that is it leaves a nice art, like after uh, overtone. Oh wait, what am I doing? It reminds you of my Ultiverb video. And that was a weird video. If I remember, I was I was completely hung over or something. I do I do like a good reverb tale. So we could do like a... Uh... But like, again, we'd need to put that in a actual track. Let's try some of the extended ones. That is aggressive. is actually pretty fucking aggressive.
did I ever conduct? I, I don't know if you guys are talking to me or not. If you want to ask something to me, put at hybrid two at the beginning uh, so that I can see it's for me. Uh, like, oh, heroic four says you didn't make a video about Spitfire BBC. Did you? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Actually, I did. Uh, it's it's eight hours long and it's on YouTube. The link is down below uh, to my YouTube or you can go to youtube.com forward slash Daniel James YouTube. Um, but yes, it is on there. But if you want to ask me something, make sure to uh, at me, at hybrid2 before you ask the question. Oh, I like this. Can I kill? Uh, can I do a video where I explain my template? I've I've gone through this a few times, but there isn't much of a template. So I just have um there isn't much going on. So I just have empty instances of contact going. So you see I've got strings one through ten. These are all pointing to the string instrument, which is this. So I just create one instrument track which is empty. And in there, I will load all my strings and these midis are pre-routed, so they'll just go. And then this instrument is fed through to this, uh, this group track, which just has an arts acoustic reverb on it. Not really much going on, to be honest. I have some sends over and I have T-Rex, which has got a limiter on the end, just making sure I don't blow out my speakers. I don't really, that's the thing. Like I do a lot of what I do as I go rather than, like setting it in the box like a junkie XL and having four million tracks loaded up at once. I just can't do it. My OCD wouldn't let me. Bass runner. We're on the rhythmic. Probably wouldn't use that. <laughs> the delay. Flux. <laughs> Might use that. That's like, uh, what am I thinking of? That's like the camera pans in to the Formula One cars as they're lining up on the grid. Okay, I need to reenact that scene. We all know what scene it is. So in the scene, in the scene, it's raining. It's raining and they're lining up on the grid. 
In fact, we need a different key. But anyway, a bit, bit too aggressive. Okay, dog. Dog, come here. Come here. Come over here. Come all the way over here. 100% all the way over here. Come on. You can do it. There you go. There you go. Come on. Here. Sit. 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 You good girl. So I have a German Shepherd. I can't really like get her on stream, but uh, she's very barky today. Because again, again, when the when the wife isn't home, she uh, she gets away with murder. The dog approves or doesn't approve. She was basically like, "Shut up with that! It doesn't sound like that at all. You failed as a composer, as a human, and you haven't fed me enough today. How dare you even speak to me?" That's kind of how she treats me. The dog, not my wife. Although, anyway. And that's in time. Don't know if you guys can hear the alarm going off outside, but this is in time. Isn't it? Some of these like um, some of these patches give you like a real inspirational kind of approach. And some just go fucking crazy. I need like a, I need like just a four to the floor drum beat quick. No, not that button. Okay, so this has sticky note problems. I just want a four to the floor and I want to do that, that thing. I don't fucking know. Skip. You'll do for now. Just instead of the thing, and then I want to build on it. Hang on. So you go. Please be in time.
because it sounds totally like that kind of thing. Do I have EDM drums? Hmm. Oh, is it loading an instrument? Yeah, it is. EDM loop. I just need like a like a drum loop. I need a oh what would it 120 drum loop. I must have something. Just give me something for now. Give me something human. Yeah, you'll do. You're good. I like you. What are you? It says cinema drum loop. I'm taking it. <laughs> that might be a bit much, but let's see what that rhythm does to us. So I just like trying things sometimes. I like seeing what they what it's all like when it's up against itself. But anyway, I digress. I just like the way that vibes. Let's put it in. Holy fuck. Don't worry, I'm not getting too trancy. I just wanted to try it out. I just wanted to try it out. I'm sorry. Uh, can you explain your folders? Uh, yeah, I just... Li so, uh, again, let me just show this again. So, I load in a string instrument. So, new VST, new instrument, contact, right? Contact, and that creates this, which I renamed string instrument. You see, contact five, string instrument. Now, all of these MIDI tracks, one through ten all point to the string instrument, meaning MIDI channel one from that instrument will be triggered on this track, number two on that track, number three on that track, okay? And then in the contact, I have nothing. I have nothing loaded. This has something loaded because I loaded something just then, but it's empty so that when I'm writing, I can load what I need when I need it. Uh, that way, I'm thinking about what the track needs like what's best for the track now? Is it going to be the sample library that's really obscure? You know, because if I load something, I'm just going to use that out of laziness. So it works like that. And then this instrument is then sent to a group track, which is here. So uh, let me just get rid of that. So this instrument here, string instrument, goes into this group. So the same as this brass when I do that, this brass instrument goes into this brass group. And then that way I can just put a reverb so that all the strings go through one reverb. 
And the way I do it this way is if, for example, I was to load up something else, uh, let's just imagine I was loading Hans Zimmer strings. In fact, let's do it. Why not? So let's, uh, not the BBC one, that takes even longer than the Zimmer ones. So let's say, for example, I loaded the Hans Zimmer strings. You see, this one loads instantly. Why they couldn't just do that with the other one? I don't know. Well, not instantly, but quicker. So you hear there's no reverb, right? So what I do is I come to my channel, I find the hands in the strings, which is now here, come up to the top, you see it's a stereo out, and I just send it to the string group. And now it's mixed in here with all my other. I, the thing I hate about the Hans Zimmer Strings library is I love how it sounds, <laughs> but I just never use it because of the player. How am I driving modulation? I've got my nano control. I don't know if you can see it, but my thumb is controlling it. Uh, See, look, thumb. Uh, look. Need to, uh, I'll, it's hard to move my arm to where I can play and you would be able to see my thumb. But anyway, I'll just play one handed. But yeah. But that's why I have my keyboard set up this way so I can play this way. And what I normally do is I normally in my right hand. Unless I'm doing something specific, I'm only ever really playing two notes. I mean, I, I play more than that a lot. Like that, that's not a strict rule, but it's like I often have a thumb handy. So I put the nano control underneath so that I'm constantly like, that's my, that's my modu uh, modulation. This is my expression. And then when I'm double handing like this, you can't see it, but I've, Man, I need to use this Hans Zimmer strings more. Did they, did they up? I, <laughs> this library is going to be fucking awesome in about three years when they fix the Spitfire player. What I need is like a nice pad. Oh God, oh God, stuck notes everywhere. So I love, I love having those things. So I'm just gonna, I haven't been doing this so far. I'm actually gonna put black hole uh, on, it's a stuck note now because I forced it to be. I'm just gonna put black hole on it, see what it sounds like. Didn't really change it much, which is good. Just gonna put these, my emails down. I need you reading that shit. Should probably close all the manny stuff down. <laughs> So I love sounds like this that just kind of hover because then you can.
Oh, we got the soft one. Oh, man, fuck, this is going to turn into another Hans Zimmer strings video. Listen to how fucking soft that is. Like, that's the thing. Like, for people who are, who are watching me now and watched my Hans Zimmer video, I like Hans Zimmer strings. I love the sound of it. It's one of the nicest soft sound libraries out there. It just didn't sound particularly Hans Zimmer is the thing that got me off. Got me off. It didn't get me off. But like, uh, you know, that got to me. But listen to this shit. You know what I mean? Like, that almost isn't a note. Yeah, it didn't have Jack Sparrow's dick, which was the problem. If this was Spitfire cinematic soft strings, be the best fucking library there is. These are cool too. What was the next one? The next one was the pad, right? They just work well. Anyway, where were we? Turn off the black hole. Right, we're in Redmek Malodek. Oh, we're we're in arpeggios now.
Let's try some violins up here. I like that vibe. What do you think of that rhythm I've got going in the background? I like arpeggios because they stay in time. Actually, I preferred the cellos, but yeah. It's hard to find the rhythm because it's arpeggiating, but yeah, should be easy, but I'm crap, apparently. Oh, look at the way these ones bounce, look. Oh God, no, no, thank you. Okay, these are cool. The arpeggios are cool. Please tell us your opinion on Cinematic Studio, bro. I don't have it. <laughs> that one doesn't quite work because it, it, it there isn't enough notes. An A minor up. Why don't you just give me a normal up? That would be great. Insects in the piano. That one's a bit harsh. Instant chills. Music for airplanes, D major. I don't want these specific ones. Ones that are locked into a key. Oh, that makes like, uh, have you ever seen signs? So I'm in, what am I in? So this is C minor. But if you put it in uh, C sharp, that's actually really cool. Don't you think? I, I don't know. Sounds uh, instantly like signs. Takes a minute to change over. That's a cool one.
I want to put a delay on that. I know there's already one on it, but I want to put another one. What would that be? Okay, we could probably make a song out of that. If I played it right. it in D. Why not? We can move it around later. this one patch it's called like the Harry Gregson Williams bass no it's not the drone but I've got like a sub bass that's totally like a Harry Gregson Williams from 2014 and it's the greatest sub bass ever feel your houses shake Sounds a bit like the Colossus. I like that. So it's like...
cool to get a vibe like that. You could totally just make a thing out of that. It's a cool vibe. And the cool thing is we can just, yeah. Let's put it in B. I like writing in B now. Anyway, sorry, moving on. I was just getting into the vibes, you know? It happens. Why did you go all the way back to the start? Once upon a time. You had one time around perpetual flow. Oh, that's cool. I can just try them on what we just wrote. Nope. Oh, I have to play that in C minor. Have to play that in A minor. <laughs> Some of them just get a little crazy. So maybe if I put some um, some other instruments with it, just I want to hear it in context, you know.
Okay, yeah, save that. Sorry, that fucking chord progression is so common, but it's just so nice to just just play the things over, you know? So I'm just reading your uh, messages. How you guys doing, by the way? Sorry, I just, I've been jamming a lot today. It's one of those libraries that just encourages play. Play as a concept, you know? I'm just playing with the fucking thing. Which I think is how you're supposed to roll. Funny, you can do that like F sus, like so. Because it, it's one of those chord progressions. So like if you do like F major, D minor, B flat, but you constantly put that B flat at the start of the melody, it does work. It's one of those weird ones. I'll play it on a cleaner thing, you know, the... So that is actually, like, we just literally went through the whole thing. Uh, so let's take a look at some of these effects. So we looked at these. Modulate. So what can we do here? We can modulate LFOs. But to be honest, 
the automate thing kind of does it for me already, so I don't need to do much there. I do like an arpeggiator. Kind of up type chord. Repeat twice. Okay, repeat four times. Oh, repeat the notes. Oh, that's cool. So you could do like. Okay, that's cool. So see arpeggio. Echoes we tried, but we couldn't really figure out too much. So effects, oh, it's just the normal effects. Turn on all the reverbs. Wait, is there a shitload of... Yeah. Turn that compressor off. Now it's just completely dead. So what did you guys think? Are you in or are you out on Ascend? <laughs>